I met David Baker. He was very, very straightforward and honest, and you could tell he was a man who just just went to work and did his job, and that was kind of his, that was that was his approach. I, I I would always look forward to seeing David because he was he's such a, a nice, decent bloke, and he'd, he'd let you know if it was no, nope, yep, yeah, no, nope, it wasn't right or wasn't wrong. So having the real thing there is a great guide to to helping you with a choice. If you didn't have the person there, you'd be imagining, well, would they say that or do that? When you've got the real one and said, no, I wouldn't. I'd always go with the the real thing. I mean, one of the things, back, back, one of the instant things when you, when you meet David, obviously, is, is the accident. We're here because I want Linda's family to know we're here, and the killer, he's a local, I'm certain of it. He's going to see us, and he's going to know that we're not going to go away until we've got him. Right? Despite. Yes, sir. Right, get on with it. It's it's not Brummy. There's a there's that that difference, and it's you just have to keep that keep that on the on the move. So you practice that eight hours a day, or uh, you have that in there all the time. That in itself leads you to to a different internal rhythm. If you if somebody's alive and they're and they're extant, as it were, like David is. Uh, you, 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 you have a responsibility to, to play them, if you like, as, as Oliver Cromwell once said of his portrait, warts and all. It's laid out easily for you if you have the, the, the real thing in front of you. Um, if you haven't, then you have to use your imagination. With this, it's a combination of both, as, as with all a decent drama. I think.